Dr. Bratcher. Um, consumers have some questions about tenderized meats. Why are they tenderized? How are they tenderized? And are they safe? Can you tell us a little bit about the process? Sure. Consumers um, prize highly tenderized meats, and sometimes some flavorful cuts are not as tender as are desired by consumers. And so cons tenderizing can be done in a couple different ways. A lot of times consumers will tenderize their meat at home by using marinades or sometimes taking a fork and repeatedly poking holes or using a mallet to pound it. Um, this can be done in industry by using technologies to tenderize meat. Um, some ways that we could do it would be uh, marinating just like you would do at home. Or also, we have some machines called needle tenderizers, which poke holes into meat with blades, much like very small little knives. And then also, um, these can be combined together to have um, what's called needle tenderization, and they're hollow needles, and they pump the marinade through these hollow needles, which then poke into the meat which um, creates a, a tenderizing and also adds marinade to that. Now, why are some cuts of meat more tender than others? Some muscles are more tender than others, just like in the human body, we exercise some muscles more than others. And those that we exercise and we use a lot would be um, less tender because they're used for moving a lot. And then those muscles that are used for support would be more tender because they're worked out less and those muscle fibers are used less. So this muscle is a clod which is off of the shoulder and that would be one that's used for locomotion so oftentimes the clod would be a tenderized piece of meat. When you tenderize meat, is there any concern about bacteria or pushing it inside the meat? Um, yes, there has been some studies to show that bacteria may be pushed inside. However, the USDA recommendations are to cook the meat to 145 degrees Fahrenheit that's a rare degree of doneness. Um, you would cook that, once it reaches 145, you would lay it out and let it rest for three minutes, and the meat continues to cook as it rests, and so that would allow any, um, any bacteria that are there would continue cooking and it would kill that bacteria and it would be safe to eat. What's your final message for consumers about tenderized meats? My message to consumers would be that it's a completely safe product. There's been a lot of research done on these, this product and USDA has deemed it a safe product as long as consumers are cooking it to 145 degrees and they're letting it rest for up to three minutes, that product will continue to cook and any bacteria that may have been pushed to the inside of that meat will be killed at that temperature. And so it's a completely safe product and I would serve it to my family. Thank you so much. Thank you.